Hello, my name is Grant, otherwise known as New Journey So Far. I'm going to do another quest project right now. Uh, this is a demo of me. The, the quest is called Quest Number 744, made by Bago. So let us begin. Now, this quest has a suggestion that you download. Yeah, that you download the MP3 pack to go with it. I don't think down of it though. Because they say you'll be just left with the stock music. Yeah, he has a lot of enhanced music for his game, so if you don't download the, the actual enhanced music, you're left with the stock, regular stock music that comes with this other classic. Well, so let's check out quest number 744 with enhanced music. Again, if you don't have the enhanced music, you won't get, it won't sound like this. That's what I don't mean. I wonder, if just letting just letting you know to Bago, the one who's making this quiz. I'm, it, I'm wondering if uh, if I were you, I'd speak to probably Link, the master, or one or I think Spaceman Man, or one of the pure ZC staff, and see if see how they feel about it. Because I think they mentioned uh, one time or another they say that when midis are okay, they're a bit iffy on enhanced music if it's a full song uh, because of copyright concerns. That's why like, I've had a conversation with them. Like, I think the enhanced music really puts a great touch on the quest, but also you might find yourself to become disappointed with the fact that you may not be allowed to use them. Or you, you can use them all you please, but for ZC may not wish to they, they may not wish to include that your your quest in their data banks. They may probably actually request you to ch change to MIDI format because again, when you're using the actual music right from the game, it's it it, it leads it leads to a, a gray area that. In other words, it's, as my recommendation, you might want to you might want to talk talk to them about it, see how they actually feel about enhanced music of games of of music that actually was made from the people who make the Zelda games. So it was more Nintendo, of course. This is the very reason why I advise using. Using music out together, but now just one thing I don't think the pure ZC staff realizes that I found out recently. I don't think on my YouTube page I have a MIDI of a song, and I'm uh, and uh, I have received a not not a copyright like, attack, but a copyright notice saying this song belongs to this is an official song that belongs to someone, but I was using a MIDI form. But I think that, I, I think, so I'm starting to believe, okay, I'm starting to believe that it really doesn't matter, MIDI or MP3, if you have a song that sounds like, for example, a Zelda game, I don't, like, I think they're still, like, uh, like people who are making the MIDIs, I think they, uh, I think that they might end up will be the ones that are looked at, because I, I think even middies have a certain copyright issue that comes to them, like I'm starting to realize that, like a, a mid, like a midi that's built like it, that's almost like saying, oh, well if someone plays a guitar of a song, and, and shows it online, that's copyright, well if, if I recall, it is, for, for a man to take a guitar and play someone else's song, that's a form of copyright that I believe the o an owner can say, no, I don't approve of this. As sad as that sounds, I believe that to be the case after doing all the research. Oh, oh no. These guys are... Yeah, I knew as soon as he had me, I was dead. So, I think the whole music... I, th I think the whole thing is just a gray area. But again, 
where your where your game is hosted on purezc.com. You might want to ask them what 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 they're comfortable with when it comes to the use of uh, music in video games. Now I'm starting to get that Zelda One feel in here now, even though I like to play something looks like a link to the past. I really am. For a second there, got that Zelda 1 feel, and now that Zelda 1 feel is gone. Yeah, that's something I really should do with my game, is add that water effect. I don't know why I've never done it. Instantly, on my to-do list, that I'll forget uh, to add to my to-do list. The game is alright, but... I'm, uh, right now I'm just, I haven't really formed an uh, impression of what I think about this game yet. It looks nice! But I'm left not really sure what is going on with this quest. Like, I, I don't really know what's going on. Just with. It feels like Zelda 1 all over again with more graphics, but all the, all the same. Pick anything you like. Prices are marked. Cool. This is one thing I love about uh, playing these custom quests, is seeing those little things that, you know, it's, it's, it's those little things that I haven't used, but they're nice to add, really? That's something I might look into? Yeah, it really is something I should look into. The little things. Oh. I guess I just had everything we thought. So that's a big fairy and a little fairy. And ha, I just took the little fairy messes. I don't have bombs. Maybe from... Uh, I need to learn how to make sound effects. So I think that's what I really need to do. And I think when it comes to the point in time when I really get into make a few cha like some serious changes to how my quest sounds, I might search for something completely different. I might look for my own sound effects rather than an on because I like creating the refreshing feel. Pendant 1. So this, I would assume, is level 1. Music. No, it's not. Not an ordinary time music. This is a link to the past dungeon music. The first three dungeons. That would be the Eastern Palace, the Desert Palace, and the Tower of Hera. And why am I talking slow like the <laughs> Actually, sometimes playing and remembering something at the same time is a little bit of a task. I think that's one thing that I like about Rock Thieves is that it does it does challenge me to actually to speak in a situation where something else is taking my concentration. And I fairly do a lot of that, you know, speaking. So I'm guessing that's a boss. I guess that's a door for you to do it. It's a boss door.
And here we go, we have our regular girl. Clearly, the person who designed this game also had, uh... That's cool, did those... Did those mice just cheat? Yeah, clearly, the people who... The person who made this game had a link to the past in mind, that's for sure. I'm seeing a lot of the link to the past... ...things here. You know what? I think I gotta make a lot of changes for my next level on my next quest, so... Uh, and add in a lot of things that I am seeing in these LPs. And also just some, some things that games just generally playing. That includes... That includes the two enemies I've seen here, those... I forget what they call those... Those things. And, uh... And the moist. No wonder Moist caught in the Zelda series. I think I see the name in Zelda 2. That, of course, just like every enemy, it has a different weird name to them. That feels like a little bit like a Donkey Kong there now. The sound, the sound for a second there just kind of reminds me of Donkey Kong Country. I think it is. No, it's still the Zelda one. I think my friend is still trying to get through that first part of that Jimmy part. I have to admit, I think I've made that part a little bit too hard. i got to figure out how to make that part a little bit easier. I did receive a couple of messages uh, about that part, the difficulty of that part. And I, I think I've underestimated it. Just wait a second. Perfect. I like the idea that the water seeping out of the door and through it. The worst thing about that idea, I, I don't think I was ever able to correct myself, is that where's the water coming from under the door? But I'm pretty sure it's not too difficult to do, but uh, I've never really took the effort to actually correct it because I just, just like I think the quest author here, here is going, I just left it for the imagination of the quest player. There's a lot of things I've uh, done especially my first quest, and just left it to the imagination of the player who's playing it. Now I'm not quite doing that as much. You've got a smash up fantastic. You can block arrows and small rocks. Your that background like creeps me though. Cool. But, really? Uh, I don't know. Like, is this actually from the song? Is this actually from the Zelda 25th anniversary collection thing? That's what it sounds like. I never actually heard it, but I, I heard it was good. But it only makes me realize that it, it just goes to the show. It's better to ask Link the Master or some staff of yours to see if they're okay with you with you having it like this. Yes, the hand hat music is definitely better, but again, it's all, it, it, from what I've learned, it's always a gray area with enhanced music that prevents me from getting into enhanced music, unfortunately. Because I would love to. 
But then again, there's a certain charm to middies that I can't deny. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. So. Have I been up? Yes, I think so. That's when I started going around in circles. Did that really- Yes, it did! It took some of my magic. Perfect. Yeah, I'm really gonna start putting some treasure chests into my souls with you too. A full quest without treasure chests, that's madness. I better be careful about playing too many of these quests and like finding too much stuff that I like because what what I end up doing and uh, I know a lot of quest designers probably have done is what I'm doing is I'm overwhelming myself with with things to do and when you overwhelm yourself with things to do what you end up having is a quest that never gets done so there are some things that even though I like I might have to temporarily abandon them just to to keep the main goal in mind. You've got the big key. This is the massive key, bro. It opens many rocks. Oh, our key's coming out. This is another thing I've noticed here that I do have to make a complaint about simply because I've learned through experience. And I've done it the bad way so many times in Souls of Wisdom 1. Try to avoid having two keys lead to one thing. I've done that a few times in Souls of Wisdom 1. Take last off. And, uh, what am I saying? Uh, take uh, the last woods. And I think there was like one part that you had to use three keys to get to one boss key. I realized today that I really took a wrong approach because... And I've, and I've done that a few times. In the Swamp Temple 2, you have to get three or four keys to get to the final, uh, to get to the boss of that level. And I really, like, looking at it back now, compare, I really realize the errors in my ways, because I, I, I think that's, uh, it's, look, like, for me, Looking at it myself, doing it, I think it was just a slack way of designing dungeons. So I try to avoid that from now on. But I was saying, it's not bad. it's not bad. It's like, but like say if you're, if you're still making dungeons, I would let like says for one dungeon's okay, but I did. I made it for a couple dungeons, so I uh, I I overuse it to the point it became noticeable to me. I don't know if it became noticeable to the ones who played my quest, but it became noticeable to me. And I've learned the errors of my life. So just as to teach you from my mistake, that yeah, try to avoid the uh, overuse of having three or four keys leading to the same thing. Okay, hold on there. Now I gotta pause this for a second because a friend of mine wants to help us up on our TV. Okay, I'm back after helping her out. So now I'm gonna continue. Uh, from the looks of it, this is going to... Oh, yeah, you're going yeah, you're gonna to figure out how to fix that one there. And then, but you, I think you can set the resolution of the other monitor, too, or something. Oh, wait, don't... Don't you have... Yes, don't you have it on your laptop? you you, you, you got to fix it on your laptop, too, don't you? The resolution, yeah, there's something... The whole resolution is something you got to mess up. Anyways, I'm going to continue here right now. Yeah, I think this is going to be one of those half an hour quest project demo things because I want to see a little bit further where this goes. But what did I get? Just get them? Oh, I don't even know. Arrows. I think I got arrows. That looks a bit better. 
I think this is what you can get because I don't think I've ever been again at all now. Okay. Oh yes, there's a... Uh, if I recall... I think... I think that's what that pink thing is telling me. There's a treasure chest up this way. Oh, I thought it was even stronger. I like to. I like to. The moderate difficulty that's in this quest, that's one I'm gonna give advantage of. I find that the, I find that the senior quest designers, the one who's considered to be the better quest designers, are actually have, are actually much older, and so they're more into more difficult gaming. And they, uh, I find that on average they make games that are fairly more difficult. But even Last All has fairly. Parts that are fairly difficult. What is the dog? Dog barking at the cats? Okay. Oh, bugged me a little bit. There, but it's not too bad. Uh, really? Okay, so. So I gotta warp there. I guess that's. Oh, yeah, that must be the boss. So the church chest I'm thinking about must be down there. So I gotta play him again? I think that's the best you're going to get for that screen. I think that's the way it's always been. I think you're trying to maximize that screen, but you're... You're, you're forgetting the, uh, the aspect ratio going on here. Because it is... I don't know, it was duplicate. There you go, that's, that's a door that I've come open, but I don't want to open that yet. Because I think something is there. Yeah, maybe I should add those, like, slimy things uh, to my fourth level. Oh, perfect, you gotta fix. You gotta go my stones on our enemies and hit distant switches. Okay, not pretty much to do with the boomerang in this level other than do that. And you can't go back? Okay, this is a one-way trip. Well, it, it usually is, isn't it? Okay, it doesn't follow traditional Zelda. Oh, and it has eight directional movements, this boss won't stand a chance. Maybe if it only had four directional, but it has eight directional. I'm too mobile for this boss. Way too mobile for this boss. But then again, whoa! Okay, he has a lot of HP. Okay, a little bit overconfident. I underestimated his amount of HP. Well, that's good though, because the ability to change HP finally changes the dynamic of what. What an Aquamentus, Aquamentus can do. Because I, Aquamentus, what am I doing? Okay. That was a little bit stressful there a second ago. Oh. I 
could get some help there, you know. That. So I'm going to be walking into this boss a little bit unprepared, but that's that's the only way to do it, isn't it? I was hoping those guys would give me a little more help, but either way. Perfect. No harpy, no heart container. Okay. Imagine if that statue would have killed me before I walked in this room. And I guess that's it. I'll just leave. Okay, almost 30 minutes. This is. This is in the between my set amount for these type of uh, demo quests, so it's usually 20 minutes to a half an hour, so 27 minutes is not bad. So I'm going to end off right here, and it was a fairly enjoyable quest. It's I'll, I'll put on an on par average, but also uh, also on a level fairly good too. Uh, some key areas a little messed. I uh, I can't even really think of that to the top of my head right now. But uh, for the most part, really great quest. Keep it up, and and anybody who's been watching, thank you for watching. Have a good day.